This is Asangwa and Sierra Ikane of Ballroom Alchemy, and we come live today from BND Von Newman Dance. And today we're going to share a little bit of dancing with you. It's yes, almost yes. wedding season. And we want to show you how you can go beyond the, the high school drag or the slow dance way. So we're going to teach you just a very basic step for a dance called the Lola. All right, so the bolero is known as the Spanish waltz, right? It is a rhythm dance, and uh, one way to think about it is that it is best known for its side-to-side uh, -side rise and fall and its overly dramatic sways. So we will be keeping those sway steps that you are also used to. So with that, we will demonstrate. Okay, so we're gonna take a side step, lady starting with her right foot, leader starting with his left foot, going to the side, and now, you're gonna think left foot goes forward, lead with your left foot, and I'll be right back. My right foot's gonna go back. So for the lady, you're gonna step forward on your left foot, leader steps back. So we're gonna do what's called a rock step. We're gonna shift the weight onto one foot and then bring it back. Now we're both gonna move to the side, lady's left foot, leader's right foot. We step to the side. And now the lady's going to rock back on her right foot. Leader leads with his left foot forward. We're gonna do our rock step on the other side. Replace. We're gonna to go to the side again. Side step. Rock step. Side step. Rock step. Side step. Rock step. Side step, rock step. Side step, rock step. Now when you're dancing this with your partner, a side step for the bolero is very large. Um, we lower, as the song was said, we have this rise and fall action and we lower by keeping our knees soft. So we don't want to dance with our knees locked. You want to just be soft in the knees and then you step to the side. But for today's demonstration, when you're dancing with your partner, you can take a very small step. A side step can be small, and then a side step can also be large. So we take a side step, lead forward on the left foot, side step, I'll be right back, take your right foot back. We're going to add a little bit of rhythm to this as well too, so you understand the timing of it when we try to work the music later as well too. So let's see. So we have our basic step. Here, so come over here in front of me. And we're going to step side, rock, and side. Rock, and side. Rock, and side. And rock, and side. And we're going to add a little bit of rhythm to that. If we were to count that, when we go our side step, it'd be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. And quick, quick, slow. Mm -hmm. For this dance, you want to slide your feet. This is especially important if you're dancing with a bride and she has a long, flowing dress on. You don't want to step on her train, or you don't want to step on uh, her dress that's kissing the floor. So if you're dancing with somebody with a long dress, be sure that you're sliding your feet. And that's also helpful because this is a rhythm dance, a Latin dance, and you want to stay in contact with the floor. All right. So one of the things you said is like, we're trying to keep those sways, right? Because we're trying to keep all the other sways, but we still keep those sways, right? So when we incorporate the sways into our basic step, we can go side, quick, quick, side, quick, quick, side, 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 and back into our basic side step. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Slow, 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 slow. slow. Quick, Quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow. We'll talk about how to connect with the partner. When we're dancing the bolero, this, this is a mix of the rhythm dances, 
but it's also a classic ballroom. So you're gonna have the classic ballroom hold. This is this is how we would dance it. So right here, we're in this big giant ballroom hold with our arms and our elbows up. The guy is my right hand is behind the lady's left shoulder blade. And my right hand is up, and the lady is between my forefinger and my thumb, and her elbow is up as well, too. But we don't need all this because we're, you know, we're just doing slow dancing, right? So we would relax the elbows, and then I would bring the lady's hand into my chest. And to make sure the lady's hand position is comfortable, instead of simply putting her forefinger between my forefinger and my thumb, she actually grabs my entire thumb and then I bring it into my chest to make the, posi the hand position more comfortable on her wrist. And this is a far more intimate hold and an easier hold as well too. And then we go ahead and do our basic side, quick, quick, slow, quick. rock, step, side, rock, step, side, rock, step, side, 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 side rock, step. Side, rock, step, side, rock, step, side, and rock, step. All right. With the numbers, with the numbers, we'll show you the same exact dance step, but with the numbers, because some people learn differently. They're like numbers versus words and vice versa. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. And we'll demonstrate the simple pattern with rotation to show you how to dance to music. Now, when you're listening to music, uh, you want to try to find the beat. And for this song, you're listening for the snaps. So every time um, in the song you hear a snap, it's going to be two beats. So it'll be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. you can tell us about the vision that you have for your wedding day. 
So thank you so much for joining, and we hope you really um, got something from this, and we'll, we'll continue to put out more tutorials and dance content for you to enjoy.